Oh man, are we live? I hear the music. I think we're live. I have no idea. It says live in the corner. I think we're live. I like the music. I just do this for half an hour. At least. I see. I see a, a three. I see. Oh, people. Are okay, welcome. Officially, the first episode of Dave and Joe are bored. I'm Dave. I'm Joe. Joe, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Dave? Well, I'm bored. Well, you shouldn't be bored because, you know, that's what we're here for. Hey, not only is today our first episode of our show, but it's also <laughs> special because it's your birthday. It is. Oh, happy birthday, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Not 50 yet. The countdown starts today. Hmm. So you're not 50 yet years old. That's a, that's a good age to be. That's the only thing good about uh, the age I am is that it's not 50. So there you go. Okay. Oh man, we have comments. We're going to, we're going to say, Oh, okay. All right. Some people are here and we're going to see, uh, I, Oh, look, Sam says, yo. So I figured it out how to, how to post the damn things. All right, we're, getting there. we're getting good. Try to pay attention to that. So this is our, our new show. Uh, whether or not it ever happens again, nah. <laughs> but uh, what do we we talk about? We talk about things we like. We talk about comics and toys and wrestle wrestling. Really, I got some wrestling for us tonight. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, we got guests. We got uh, well, guests. We got segments. We got. Uh, People commenting on things. We got lots of stuff. Should we? What should we? Where do we start? We want to start with the uh, toy talk. Sure. All right. Because because I've been I've been sitting on this and I'm very excited. Uh, so so McFarland Toys out of nowhere uh, dropped Walmart exclusive Superpowers toys are back at Walmart. Uh, Ten dollars for the figures. I don't know. Thirty bucks for the vehicles. The the figures. Are are kind of the same scale. Uh, these are things I've swiped off the internet, and uh, but but I'm gonna get back to this because because okay anyway Superman and uh, you got your Batman and uh, that's another thing. Anyway, let's go back up to this. That's a supermobile. That's a supermobile, Joe. It's the, it's a supermobile, Joe. That's amazing. So I actually didn't know you were gonna have these on here. I saw this. Uh online just yesterday or something and uh what were you you were gesturing what's happening it's a supermobile oh oh yes well that is like my all-time favorite toy line probably so that's pretty cool i had a actually i had an extensive collection of the originals for a while and now i'm oh i end up selling them i decided i didn't want my money wrapped up in them the only one i still have is uh green lantern i still have the original green lantern in the packaging and stuff it's awesome you fool! I have yeah. Flash. Here's my. I brought up my Flash. Here's my. That's the only one I have on the card. I have them all. Yep. I like the Flash. Yeah, the fl flash is not an expensive uh, on the card figure, yep. but I like the Flash. But I, I, I uh, like the Supermobile a little, little too much. And oh, uh, it's great. Yeah. So this is this is the the big Corgi Supermobile. Uh, I had that at one point. I don't think I still do. This is the little. Little corgi supermodel uh, with its little fists. I think I probably had the little one. Looking at that, yeah. Well, knowing you, yeah, you you probably have the little one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is like a Lego, little Lego version. Awesome. Ooh, it's got fists. <laughs> and then, uh, and then this is a uh, is a ooh. Look at that, kids! A jigsaw puzzle. Remember with those? Supermobile. And then this is the uh, oh Jose. Garcia Lopez car. Uh, yes. Oh boy, with the supermobile. So uh, if you don't know about the supermobile, and I know I was going to say, wait a minute, Dave. Uh, we have some fans are writing in and asking why would Superman need a supermobile? Well, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> uh, because what happened was, and I know this we're talking about toys, but a little, little, little back history on the supermobile is always worth your time. So there was. Uh, like like red radiation hit down upon the earth 
and like flames and uh, made Superman's powers go away at the same time releasing the android Amazo, who has the powers of all the Justice League. And a powerless Superman, what's he going to do? Well, he's got the Supermobile. And the Supermobile, uh, you say, what's that going to do? Well, it does everything. It's made from uh, what, Supermanium mm. is the metal that the Supermobile is made out of. And the only thing that can uh, hurt Supermanium is Superman's heat vision. Sounds and like uh, you say, you say, well, well, Amazo's got like the power of Green Lantern's ring. Well, the Supermobile has like yellow, projects a yellow glow. Because as we all know, Superman's or Green Lantern's powers are uh, not effective on the color yellow. That guy, you throw a banana at him and he is done. Done. Slipping and hitting his head. Oh, poor Green. It's better than Golden Age Green Lantern with the wood. Hit him with the chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's the Supermobile. I love it. So uh, it has fists. So anyway, cool. <laughs> let's, let's just go. Let's. Oh, my God. That's going to be mine. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, so if anybody ever sees one at Walmart, my, my nearest Walmart uh, is not so good. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out how I can find, uh, you know. So you're expecting a rush on the Supermobiles. Just to spite me, yes. Mm -hmm. People will uh, people will be buying them and and hoarding them from me, just to uh, just to just to spite me. So, so was that is that just a sneak peek? Those few figures, or is that all they're releasing at, at first? This is supposedly the first wave, and they there's a rumor about the second wave, and the mm -hmm. second wave is is more modern, like. Batman who laughs and a modern flash, which I don't, I, I, kids, I'm old. I don't understand. So if it's not got Jose's art on it, I'm kind of out. So who knows? Yeah. They're 10 bucks. I don't need to be buying all these, but you know, Supermobile makes me happy. Uh, and then the next thing that's kind of cool. So the superpowers thing has become kind of the new thing. And there's been companies that have done toys like fresh monkey has done toys that look like the, Super uh, Secret Wars figures. Uh, so now companies are trying to do toys that look like the superpowers size and style. So this has just gotten announced uh, this weekend um, through Fresh Monkey and Toy Otter, who's a, a really cool uh, toy designer. And these will be sold uh, through Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, so they're doing more of the, uh, the indie comics characters. So I am all groovy on Rocketeer and uh, the Tick and I, at least Rocketeer and Madman, and then uh, get me another Mr. Monster figure. Why not? Those look great. And then uh, what else we got? These are uh, another company, uh, Boss Fight Studio. I actually think ordered the uh, everybody but uh, Lion Man. But what is Lion Man from? Lion Man's a, a Flash Gordon. Uh, oh man, Alex Raymond figure. But yeah, I I, I kind of you know these things. These uh, don't tend to be cheap. McFarlane with his, their ten dollars figures because they're mass marketed, and these are uh, you know twenty or more once you get shipping involved. So uh, should probably point out a helpful tick, uh, helpful uh, tip from the comments. Erica Vale says that she has heard you can buy things online now. You know, That's, you can you you can show yeah there there. I think she knows everything. Yeah, Walmart exclusives. Uh, are unfortunately Walmart sucks with these things and rarely are they online, but if they were, yeah. then yes, I would buy it online and have it shipped to me. But again, when people see them online, they will buy them up just to spite me. It's true. So, so there you go. That's, 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 uh, that's, that's toys. Those are neat. I like them and I buy them and I have too many of them. Yeah, I try to avoid buying toys because they take up space, as you know. Yeah, but should we? Uh, cool. Should we? Should we? We have our our on 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 the spot segment man boy Adam, who is our our food taste test extraordinaire. Let's let's bring out Adam. How are you? <laughs> I I'm I'm good. How how are you, Adam? This is uh, your first time here on the show. Welcome. Yes. Hello, Adam. You uh, you you claim to want to do a segment 
on food. What are we, what are we featuring today? Um, Cheetos. Flaming Hot Cheetos. Flaming Hot Sweet Carolina Reaper Cheetos. Not a sponsor. You bought them. <laughs> I would say you bought them, but I, I bought you them. You bought them. You buy everything. And, uh, okay, are you ready? Sure. Okay, here you go. Carolina Reaper Flame. How's it smell, Adam? Let's begin with that. Spicy. All right, give it a shot, bud. This is, oh man, I'm at the edge of my seat. Yeah? No? Are you still there? Yeah. And how are they? They're like, they're like Flaming Hot Cheetos, but flavored differently. Okay, well thanks, Adam. <laughs> All right. They're, well, they're gonna... They're going to put that on the side of the bag, I think. We'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> join us later. Thanks, Adam. Okay, well. Wow, that was a successful first guest segment. That went wow. about as well as I could have imagined. Wow. That was uh, that was something. I so think if we, you missed we've, out, we've identified a regular segment, I think. If you missed out, they tasted like uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, but but a little a little different. Okay. Well, Let's uh, let's bring out our first our first artist guest to Dave and Joe our board. Uh, what we hope to do in every episode is find uh, an artist friend that is also bored. And uh, oh, we found a good one tonight. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, we found our uh, of course our our good buddy uh, Andy Bennett because because we make him do just about whatever and. Damn, and he's always willing to play along. So let's welcome Andy Bennett here. Woo! Yay! Oh, that's all. That thunderous applause. How you doing, Andy? I'm doing okay. I'm a little beat. I've had a long day. Well. Now, now I'm bored, right? Yeah. So you're here with us. Bless your heart and the, uh, I think, 11 people that are tuning in right now. Man. Oh man! If you haven't seen Andy's work, I, I, we've got. Let's see, we got a little time. This is, uh, this is your book from a couple of years ago. Yep, twenty nineteen. Released in twenty twenty. Muppets. When's the next one coming out? Whenever I finish it. Um, uh, I, I, I hope uh, before Gem City Comic Con next month. Mm. Which uh, we'll cut to. Speaking of which. Gem City Comic Con, mm. Dayton Convention Center, July twenty three to twenty four. Be there or don't be in Dayton. Anyway, so this is your first connection of uh, your Inktober Muppets drawings that you've done for two years in a row now. I uh, five years in a row. Well, but the Muppets have only been oh with the with the hands and stuff. Yes, two years, um, not in a row, but two years. Yeah. And are you going to keep that up? Are you stuck in a Henson rut? Or are you going to go someplace? You don't know yet, do you? I'm, I do not know yet. No, I think I had. I think I got a Henson out of my system for the most part for now. Uh, and I, you know, I have a lot of planning to do, but I got a few months to do it. Everybody likes the Emmett Otter. Oh man, mm. Andy drawn Muppets. Pretty good stuff. Well, you're picking my favorites here. Ooh, we got Oscar. Is that all we got? Oh, that's all we got. Letter from Bluto. He says it's that's all we got. So these are uh, these are in the first book. Most of these are first book ones, right? Um, yes, I believe all of those were in the first book. And uh, except for the jug band. First book's available on Amazon, right? Indeed, it is. Let's go back and bring that up there again. Available on Amazon and also in person. I have copies at all my regular appearances. So, and uh, original yeah, art personally. sales can contact Andy right there through uh, his, the email there for commissions and art sales. And yep. uh, uh, list is uh, underway right now for Gem City Comic Con. 
And, um, you know, just for uh, later on in the year, for the record, uh, we'll be at uh, Cincinnati Comic Expo in September and also Monroe Pop Fest in September and Motor City Comic Con in October. And how about that? Jim City is only three weeks away. Yeah, it's crazy talk. Coming right up. That is that is crazy stuff. Well, anything you want to plug there, Andy? Anything else? Oh, um, no, I, uh, nothing really at the forefront to plug. I'm right now working on some more, um, another short uh, segment of Sherlock Holmes and the Empire Builders with Joel Meadows that will appear in print uh, later on at the end of the summer. Eventually, you'll see that uh, come together in one giant, massive project uh, soon-ish. Time will tell. Well, we all just got back from Heroes Con. That's uh, that's good news. Yeah, we did. We yeah, we did. Always a great, great time. I'm not sick yet. Joe, you sick yet? No, but uh, I think I've seriously had COVID three or four times and uh, been exposed to it another infinite number of times. So I'm pretty sure I am just nothing but COVID antibodies at this point. <laughs> Andy, am, you got am, COVID? Yep. yep, I am probably still in the antibody window from having it over Memorial Day weekend. And maybe I just, uh, it just doesn't like me. Yeah, Invincible. that would make sense. Yes, oh. that, sounds, that sounds about right. Andy, did you have a good Heroes? I had a fantastic Heroes. Um, Never disappoint. Those guys never disappoint. And as long as they'll keep having me, I'll keep going back. It's a great show. I, I had a good time. Mostly. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Well, Joe, uh, uh, Joe wanted to share some of his uh, some of his art buying stuff. Now, that's my better Ray bill because uh, they were nice enough to put us uh, around the corner from Walt Simonson so we could see when he got there. So I got to pounce. Joe had to wait in line, but there you go, Joe. Yeah, there's my uh, dark side. I was very happy with that. Uh, so I had to do the uh, the harder uh, effort, I guess, waiting on Saturday morning and uh, probably waited about an hour and a half to get that. I have an, uh, I've never met Walt before. It was my first time meeting Walt. Um, but I have an Orion sketch pretty similar to this dark side, not quite as big that a friend of mine got me at a con years ago. So this is kind of a matching bookend piece to that. And very happy with that. Get to meet Walt and get some art from him. Awesome yeah, stuff. Much, all I did was get some book sign and a sketch from Walt. And then I got uh, some book signed by uh, John Ramada jr. And that was, uh, that was about as exciting as the show got for me. What the oh. hell is this there, Joe? Other than oh, Dr. Man. Dr. J, right? That is not Dr. J. No. Uh, Wilt, yeah. Wilt? That, that is Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt. Yes. I don't, I don't, it's sports ball. Yes. yes. So that's uh, my convention sketch from Kyle Starks. So Kyle Starks uh, has a graphic novel called Old Head, which uh, I bought, I don't know, within the last year or so. And the, an Old Head, without giving too many spoilers, Old Head is a story about a retired NBA basketball player who fights vampires that's all you need to know it's great it's awesome but anyway when i read the book you could just tell that kyle starks is like a legit big nba basketball fan which i am it's my favorite sport so i actually connected with him on uh, uh through facebook and we were talking about different things and i i wanted him to draw wilt chamberlain for me and he came through so that's, that's my it looks like it's like out a regular show <laughs> well, uh, he does, uh, what's the, what's the one he does? Not the regular show. Um, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty. Yeah, that's it. So that's kind of the style it kind of looks like. Yeah. So the other stuff, oh, well, well, that's, uh, that's your David Peterson there. Yeah. So, uh, this was definitely my priciest piece that I purchased at heroes. Uh, so this is an alternate cover to one of the, Dark Crystal Limited series that came out recently from, uh, is it Archaea, I think? Archaea, is the, yes. 
Arkea, I think. So this is the uh, his alternate cover to issue five, and each of the covers featured a different Skeksy mystic combination. Um, and and yeah, so I decided if he had any of those with him to sell, I was going to bring one home. That's the one I came home with. So now I guess let me let me see here. Uh, uh, this is we we've got uh, I'm gonna zap out of here and. and so this, because this this uh, art you got next, it's hard to really put it into context, at least for me, without seeing what the book was. So this is the book, Maniac of New York. Once you see the cover, you kind of get what they're going at, going for here, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this. Uh, there's been too many series of this Maniac of New York, which is you can tell. I mean, just by looking at that, like you said, you can tell it's like a '80s slasher movie, Jason Voorhees type thing but uh reading the first mini series i just described it as it's like if they made one of those if they made a friday the 13th movie but actually put some effort into making it good so but, the the but the originals uh uh you picked up at least the pencils they're pretty uh uh it, it's kind of this is the final technique that it's painted uh what yeah he does watercolors on the finals so i assume he's like you know, painting on a copy of these, I guess, to do the final art. But anyway, yeah, I got three pretty, uh, pretty nice pages. These are all actually from oh, Pope, Popa likes some maniac of New York. I thought he would. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So John, we'll have to talk. Did you get to see Andrea Muti at the show there? Um, but anyway, I got three good pages with the uh, slasher guy whose name is Harry. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So I was really happy with those. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I, was, I wasn't sure what the, uh, you know, if it would even be possible to get those, but he, he had a bunch to choose from. Did he also have the watercolor pages? He did not. All I saw was the pencils like that. Do you think, are they digital or is he just keeping them? I think they're, you, you asked if they're digital. I don't think they're digital. I, I mean, I don't know. He says, if you say watercolor, I don't, that doesn't make me think digital, but I'm old fashioned. Well, it could be digital. Oh, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like it's time for another segment here. Oh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Let's bring him back, Adam. Hello. You ready? You ready? Are you sure. All right. This is this is the first time. It's a, it's Adam's movie reviews. All right. Now for your first movie review, the movie Heather's up. Oh, it's the 1988 classic. <laughs> Winona Ryder, Christian Slater. Um, so it, it was definitely a movie. It was, I'd say, uh, um, six or seven out of ten. <laughs> Adam, is it true that Entertainment Weekly uh, uh, called it the best high school black comedy ever made? I I don't think I. That, that's very narrow topic. High school black comedy. How many uh, high school I, black comedies have you seen? I don't, I don't. I think this is the only one I've got today. And I and and it was pretty good though, right? Yes. What was your favorite part of uh, uh, of the uh, Christian Slater classic Heather's? I don't remember. <laughs> At no point in time did Winona Ryder uh, get trapped in the upside down world, though, right? No. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Adam. <laughs> no problem. All right. We'll uh, we'll touch back with you soon. <laughs> Fun fact: I've never seen Heather's. Oh. Fun kids fact: a regular kids a regular Gene Siskel. It's uh, it, it's a little it's a little slower as an adult. All these years later, but uh, you know, Christian Slater. Winona Ryder, what are you going to do? Teenage Suicide, don't do it. Don't do it. A hit song by Big Fun. Big Fun. Oh, man. Well, uh, what else we got to talk about? I got some uh, art drop for sale. I'll plug my crap. Uh, yeah. Did a big old uh, batch of, uh, of art that is available. Uh, these are uh, 9x12 portraits done in... Uh, Copic markers and white pencils and whatnot. So we've got a bunch left. If anybody's interested, uh, you can contact me here. 
the old the Aikens at Columbus.rr.com or through Facebook. We got some Flash Gordon. We got some uh, my boss and your boss. It's good old peacemaker, John Cena. Little Kirk Allen Superman. We got some uh, good old Captain Marvel. Some little uh, Twilight Zone action going on. Oh, Kolchak. I like Kolchak. Or, you know, if you like Christmas Story, there you go. That's a eh, Rocky. That's not Rocky. That's Dr. Frankenfurter. Some red brown Captain America. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, the Joker guy. Got the uh, Deckard. Some little escape from you. Hey, you know, uh, Andy, is uh, Snake Splitskins, is he dead? I heard he was dead. Yeah. There you go. There's your Conan piece, Joe. I love that. Still available. And uh, worst movie, uh, not a good movie, but boy, it looked good. Well, Judge Dredd action. And then uh, finishing off with the set of the Adams Family that Lord knows I'll probably end up having to keep. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's we got we got that going there when the art drop. And then uh, just because we're still here, we flip it over to some of the SpongeBob stuff. Got some SpongeBob covers available where we like to do the uh, cross licensing. Not going to create any lawsuits at all. And then uh, some paintings that we've been doing for shows. Or I've been doing for shows. Those are new. Those are available. They're about, uh, I don't know, like 150 shipped. And then some Funko Pops. Those are 100 each and plus shipping. Those are all the rage. Supposedly, somebody thought, that, oh, boy, wouldn't it be fun to paint on plastic? Woo! Little Patrick's on those and some Blues Clues ones. Yeah, that's me pimping. Oh, yeah. And again, if uh, anybody's interested in anything, that's me. Wow! Boy, that's not awkward at all. Well, shoot, we're almost at the half an hour mark. Is there anything else that, uh, that we need to talk about? We haven't talked about wrestling yet. Oh, that's right! Holy Speaking, crackers. Speak, John Cena is not the only wrestler we have. Oh, man. We forgot. Joe, micro wrestling. There what it is. is. <laughs> so micro wrestling is amazing. If you like pro wrestling, these guys do an awesome show. So they uh, uh, they travel around a lot of the like Midwest, it seems. They're based in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And they said they do something like 400 and some shows a year. So they have like a traveling, you know, I think some of them are on the road doing shows while they are doing like shows four or five nights a week in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So uh, they, I, they, I, I, I've been to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I love Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Well, next time you're there, I have a recommendation for you. I, uh, you know, and, and honestly, uh, knowing what there is to do in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, I would have to say this has probably got to go on the top. That's uh, pretty high ranking for Prison Pigeon Forge, yeah. Yeah, well, Pigeon they put on they put on a great show. That is me after the show with all of the micro wrestlers, and uh, oh, oh yes, yeah, so there's uh, that was the champion at the beginning of the night, but he lost the championship belt. Oh, there in that picture. You can see uh, the little show choking uh, Elvis's illegitimate son. I forget what his first name was. Wait, and... hold on. there you go. That goes on for a little too long. And oh. the ref, the referee there counting the uh, three count was named Andrew the Giant. I like it. I like because, it because he's oh. four four foot five, three hundred pounds. There you go. That's the uh, that's the championship match right there. That is uh, Hot Rod press slamming um, the former champion whose name is escaping me at the moment. Flying Ryan. Flying Ryan. Flying wow. Ryan. Flying Ryan lost the belt to Hot Rod. Wow. And look at that. Yes. Oh wait, that's Namor. I, I just brought that in. Uh... Just because. So that has nothing to do with wrestling, but I have comments. 
Hey, we go back to wrestling just to save you. <laughs> or we go back to Namor. Hey, this is Namor. But so supposedly this is going to be what the movies movie that's, Namor that's, looks like. That's Black Panther 2, Namor, Electric Boogaloo. So here's my problem with this. So uh, was it? did you tell me that they're basing him on like an Aztec thing or something? There's no Atlantis in, uh, in uh, yeah, Namor is, is no longer from Atlantis, which I think is actually probably a, a smart move because, uh, you know, Aquaman kind of beat him to it. I guess, but it's not like Atlantis is a real place. So that's that just, I, I don't get it. I don't yeah. understand. You know, I mean, you know, I, 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 I could go either way. I have learned that, uh, that, that judging anything from the Marvel movies from uh, a photo or, or promotional art is a waste of time because uh, things get a lot better or worse depending on you know how they're dealt with in, in the actual movie. So you can look at a picture and go, oh, that's the dumbest thing you've ever seen. And then the character's well-written and the actor's charismatic and the movie's good and all of a sudden it's great. So, or it can look fantastic and you know if the movie's stupid, it doesn't matter. So. So it'll be interesting to see. I like the fact that it's the beginning of the Fantastic Four universe. Well, I guess, I guess actually uh, that started in, in the Doctor Strange movie. And yeah, and speaking of which, I just watched the Doctor Strange movie this past week and completely blindsided by all the crazy stuff that I had not had any spoilers about. Uh, oh, well, if you're going to do that, hey, Adam. Yes. <laughs> hey, let's throw in a bonus movie review. Oh, no. How is Doctor Strange? It, it was okay. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Adam. Anyway. <laughs> there, there's a, a great part you don't see in the Doctor Strange movie where, uh, spoiler alert, uh, Wanda gets uh, a little mad at Patrick Stewart. And uh, somebody paused it, and, and she you kind of think that she breaks his neck and the reality is is that she uh, uh uh actually separates the upper part of his head from the jaw so they they threw in a little sam raimi in there to uh yeah. or sam threw a little little lovely quick moment uh violence for for all us nerds oh man we have a special guest just popped into the room here let's see here Oh, Fred. Hey, fellas. Fred, hey. How, How are you? Doing, hey, look, you're just in hey. time to comment on Namor and all his weirdly painted ab glory. Yes. Yeah, he's got a few extra, huh? Well, he's he's from wherever he's from in the movie because it's not Atlantis. Is it just the four of us? Right now? I guess. Not that that's not enough. I've never used this this app before, and it says that only the host can see me. Oh no, no, you're you are you're live on the internet. Live. People, wow. people are watching in the single digits. Ones of people are tuned in. <laughs> now, will people be able to see? Is this recorded? Will people be able to watch it afterwards? Oh, oh, if I choose, yes, <laughs> and and I, I I choose. You you don't want to disappoint the masses. No, no. Hey, if people don't know, this is our buddy Fred Chamberlain. Fred, uh, well, Fred Moonlights has an artist rep, don't you, Fred? I do. I have a few. Um, Eddie Barras, Niebuhr Ferreira, and Andre DeVito. And your uh, Super Friends art? Is that what you tend to go by the name of? Super Pals. Super Pals. Oh, it's yeah. so I didn't do my research. Damn. Well, I, I, got the name, I got the idea from Super Friends, but I didn't want... DC paying any attention to me. So, oh, how are you guys? How how was Heroes? We missed you at Heroes. Heroes was hopping. Uh, it was uh, it was it was I think the busiest show that they've had in terms of attendance. Oh wow! So great it, show, yeah, great show. Yeah, People Friday and Saturday it. specifically, they both both days they announced record breaking attendance. Oh, that's great. I heard that there are a lot of COVID cases since too. Oh yeah, and that's unfortunately. You know, we've we've done two uh, two conventions, and uh, after both, uh, there's a, a fairly decent percentage of artists that, uh, that that have gotten sick. 
whether or not uh, no one no one has gotten to the point where there's been something super serious, thankfully. Yeah, it sounds like this strain is a lot less severe than previous. Yep, but but I mean, it's it's not a um, it's a pretty pretty high amount when you consider people traveling and, and flying and, and hanging out at a show. And, uh, but it has nothing compared to, you know, there were, there were shots of the anime conve anime convention in New York city uh, this weekend. And I guess uh, fan expo Denver, you know, okay. is packed like crazy packed. So yeah, it's hmm. uh, yeah. You're going to get, <laughs> you're gonna get sick so you guys are busy at the show yeah 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 now we're bored hence the show but uh but at heroes yeah heroes was was hopping it was yep. uh, it was a good time but uh but well, I still want to watch namor and all his glory this has just been left up while we're talking which i kind of like it, staring it, at namor for all this time. Hey, hey, let's do another movie. Uh, let's do another movie review. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam, you ready for another movie review? Of hey, this course. Time, this time. Oh, Adam. Uh, the 1973 classic Westworld. It was a movie. Yes, it was. Hey, I Adam, would argue I, that. Hey, Adam, I got a question. Uh, did anything go wrong? <laughs> Things went wrong. People died. Yeah. Yeah. Do, how do we feel about going to theme parks that tell you up front nothing can go wrong? Um, that nothing will go wrong. So you're all in. You're still all in to believe. You've learned yes. nothing through the power of movie. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Did, did uh, it, you know... Uh, uh, how did you like seeing Thanos's dad? Yeah, he he taught valuable lessons. He kind of died like a chump, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's a nice introduction to Yul Brenner, though, right? Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun fact: I have never seen Westworld. Oh. Oh my God. And my yeah, son has, uh, has two film. movies up on you. Yeah. Great that film. Is, and the, the first season and a half of the series was really good, too. Yep. Um, oblivious. Yeah. The, the, the first, I, yeah, I could probably go through the first two seasons. Uh, third season started to lose me, and I have not started season four yet. Yeah. Third season lost me enough that I didn't have any interest in following up with four. But the first season was spectacular. Yeah. And the movie is great. A little dated now, but I, I think you'd dig it, Joe. Yeah. And it's got Yul Brenner. So yeah, I like Yul Brenner. As this is this that we can all enjoy. Found this online. Uh superhero Captain Crunch coming to your uh your grocery stores any day now. Now have you guys done this chat before? Have we done this right? Like, have we? This well, is the first well, episode. Not, not scripted. We're, we're not reading not. off scripts. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Right, right. Oh, baby. Well, have we done that? Of course we've done this before. So you just use words like baby so that whoever the fourth person is just feels like you're talking to them. Well, I, no, I was wondering because you, you've got these these images set up to kind of entertain all of us, which Wait, was kind you gotta of have something. You got to have something. Did you guys pick up any artwork this past weekend? Yeah, you missed that. We already talked about it. Okay. You, have to re, you have to rewatch this. Let's talk yeah. about cereal then. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my stepson showed me, made me aware of cocoa pebbles with marshmallows. So mm. while I've been working on eating healthier, I may have to go out and buy a box. You need some. Uh, you need some superhero cereal. Superhero cereal. Well, the uh, the Batman Returns cereal probably is up there as one of my all time favorites ever. Hmm. It was like a cocoa covered Chex mix with marshmallows. Very, any, very cereal, good. any cereal with marshmallow, I'm yeah, I'm all in. Yeah, that's good stuff. Hey, let's. Uh, hey, Adam, what's your favorite cereal? Um, you're the food West, critic. Westworld puffs. 
Space Jam 2? Yes, yeah, Space Jam cereal when it's stale. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Just keep him propped up on a wall somewhere. And... Well, I mean, yeah, he, that's he's a teenager, so what else are you going to do? So is he tuned in for, to, for the entire chat? Oh, oh, he's he's uh, he's around, and we've got a question. Does it taste like superheroes? I don't know, man. This stuff <laughs> Space is Jam now. doesn't sound particularly good. <laughs> this is Space Jam did not taste like it tastes like LeBron. So uh, that was it. Tastes like Cleveland. It tastes like uh, uh, leaving Cleveland. How come Erica isn't up on the wall here? She didn't want to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you, instead, you are. So I didn't uh, realize it was a choice. We're 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 kind of at the point of wrapping up, babe. We're at forty four minutes. That's longer than uh, that's longer than we thought we were gonna go. And uh, I think we've got the yep. The telegram's in there telling us to wrap it up. <laughs> when we get the telegram from Bluto, we know it's time to go. So, uh, Fred, going to you. Uh, uh, we could plug. Uh, was it? We got Eddie. If if you're looking for art. Super Pals. Super Pals art at um, at Comic Art Fans is all of the artwork we have up for sale from Eddie and Eber and, and Andrea. Actually, the Wolverine patch art for issue three is coming up this week. Good stuff. And those guys are staying, uh, no no conventions for, uh, for Eddie and, and uh, he's staying put, isn't he? Eddie had hoped to come to New York, but um, he... Waited until this past week to ask somebody to get him tickets for a table. Um, he apparently he misunderstood the process, um, despite several years of going, and he thought they just held tables for him. So uh, he won't be going, but he is accepting commissions. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then for uh, for Andy and myself, let's just plop this up here again. We're going to be at uh, oh, Gem City in Dayton in two weeks. Three weeks? Three, Three weeks. weeks. Three weeks. We're going to be in Dayton again. Oh, yeah. And Joe, we're going to be... Uh, we gonna, uh, Should I bring some mystery boxes of comics? Yeah. I will likely be there for at least some of the show. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> yep. Yep. I, I've got it. I've decided that uh, I need to... I, I bought a comic collection. With uh, with many many boxes of dollar books, so I'm going to try to put together some mystery boxes of uh, '80s comics because because uh, I heck I brought a stack of them. Oh oh, they're so pretty and they're so dollarific. They're so mm. Klaus Janssen-y. Oh, <laughs> a lot of unread '80s books that. Uh, with multiple copies of, of a lot of them, and it's hysterical. So that's, uh, we will be in Dayton. Woo! Make this go away. All righty. You know, the one thing I forgot, we was going to mention, I got some birthday presents. Oh, happy oh, birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, uh, almost, almost forgot. I tried the uh, the Penguin Classics collection with the, its goldness. Oh, and I have yet to open these. So, uh, so I'm just going to do it off camera here. I don't think I don't that's think that Look at that. artsy. Yeah. So the Spider-Man one is pure Ditko. Yeah. Buckus. And, uh, and the paper is, yeah, I mean, it's about what you, what you expect. It's, it's, uh, it's much better than playing with puppies full time. Was that the, was that the book that Shelton Drum used? Uh, his, he donated his original issues for, for scans. That is, was a series that, uh, Tashin is, uh, is putting out where they are, uh, huge. Okay. And, uh, they have a Spider-Man one, they have an Avengers one, and those are, uh, hundreds, 150 on sale. So those, I would really need to see those. This is pretty much straightforward, what you'd expect. It's just on a, a nicer uh, matte paper with, uh, you know, with nicer margins and more, more breathing room. Love and that's the matte Penguin. paper. What's that? That's Penguin. Yep. And these are on Amazon. They're normally 50. They're, they're like 25-ish right now. Oh, wow. 
and yeah nice so i uh and it, and it's this one is is all uh is all dicka is all dicko and then the captain america one is a combo of uh Kirby and Steranko and Ramada, supposedly. But let's take a look. This is where, uh, hold on, hold on. I can do this. <clears throat> While I unwrap. That's our unwrapping. As long as there's not a pole in the background, I'm feeling okay about this so far. No, that's upstairs. <laughs> that's a different segment. The private room. No, it's just upstairs. That that's for our subscribers only. <laughs> Fred, Fred thinks he's joking. Or Fred thinks I'm joking. All right, let's see here. So we got, uh, let's see, I'll just, uh, I'll make I don't know that you're joking. I just think you're funny. So that's Captain America one. It's all pretty. And, uh, oh, come on. Baytrock and Red Skull. I feel deeper. Leap. So this one starts with uh, the first issue. It's got uh, so we go we go with that and uh, get a little cap in World War II, and then we go straight to uh, go straight to Kirby. Just gives you everything you need. Nice one and stop then, shopping. Uh, yeah, which which I don't as much as I own a lot of these other things, I don't. Uh, a lot of the other collections, they don't tend to flip through them that much. So I thought maybe this was a nice go-to. Well, for 25 bucks a pop. Yeah. A little bit more Kirby. Uh, we get finally get a little Steranko going on in there. And, uh, oh, yep. Oh, artsy-fartsy. Yay. That's the good stuff right there. So yeah, it looks like it's oh, and then Avengers, uh, Avengers four in there, nice. Which is pretty. I don't know if that's the whole issue. And then there's essays and uh, in there as well, which is uh, oh cool, which is kind of cool. So yeah, there's a Black Panther one as well. I did not get that because I have because you hate the Black Panther. Thanks. Come on, pick it up, Dave. Pick it up. <laughs> Nice, nice action comics cover, by the way. Well, that's that was our segment on the Supermobile. I because know. I uh, missed the original art. I missed the Supermobile. Ah, uh, well, here we go. We'll bring it back up for you since you're late to the party here. Gonna this have to is watch uh, a replay. Hitting Walmart. Hitting Walmart any day now. Are you From serious? Carlin Toys. Yep, that's a brand new bad boy. Oh wow, that's cool. Yep, thirty bucks. It will be mine. It has fists. <laughs> I love it. By the way, Fred, uh, Supermobile, as we talked about earlier, was made of uh, Supermanium was the metal. Supermanium. Is that, Supermanium. A, is that a fact or did you make that, that up? That is a fact. Supermanium. And was it, were those the first appearances of the Supermobile? With, the, with Jose from Action? Yes. Yeah. 481, 482. God bless the Jose and his ability to draw flying crafts with fists and make them look decent. Kurt Swan in the, in the inside. I have I have pages from uh, from 482 with the Supermobile and Amazo. Good huh. old Kurt Swan. Well, geez, guys, thanks so much for popping by. Let's see uh, any any last week. Uh, Kurt Keith says that they're out now. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Vince asking to do any plans to do a sequential book, Dave and Andy. Andy's get working on. Uh, you're working on one right now. I am. I have a project in the works right now. Um, no big major concrete uh, details to to give yet, but um, we'll do when that's ready. I have absolutely no plans on doing a sequential book uh, anytime soon because it takes way too much work. And I am lazy and tired and bored. Bored. <laughs> but not bored enough to do a sequential book. <laughs> Unless the sequential book could be made out of taking the portraits I've done and just plopping them in sequence. Oh, that, that'd be a creative exercise right there, right? Adding, adding word balloons. 
You could, could do what work. John Byrne did with the Star Trek comics. <laughs> Photo novels. Right. Yeah, just flip the images of the head so they're pointing different directions. And yeah, this could work. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... You imagine you, you cut to the chase, chase with those instead of shooting the reference and redrawing it all. You just you just uh, you know use the reference photos. And, and your mirror cool. mirror story was kind of fun. Yeah, I feel, I, well, you know, people liked it, so uh, I don't I don't think I've read anything that John has done in uh, in a long time. But to be fair, I haven't read much of anything in a long time, except for uh, Superman. 481 to learn what the supermobile was out of made out of <laughs> Superman. Superman research uh, for the segment. The, the only thing that hurts it is <laughs> Supermanium is, uh, is Superman's X ray vision. It's a true story. Well, guys, once again, we got Gem City Comic Con coming up, but uh, other than that, that's it for the uh, inaugural I'm Not 50 Years Old Yet birthday edition yeah, of Dave and Joe Rabor. Happy last 40-something birthday. The clock is ticking. Well, thanks for the invite. It was good seeing you guys. Good, good to see you, Fred. Too, yeah, we, saw, we were all looking forward to seeing you, and then uh, and then uh, it didn't work out. But uh, hopefully there will be something else. And uh, not, not doing Wizard Chicago, right? No, no. Um, we potentially are we're still set we haven't canceled for baltimore yet um but that's kind of up in the air there was actually a show in italy we were going to do this year and uh and that may or may not happen but um if if he ends up not going anywhere i may actually just go to get out and say hi to people and shake things off a little bit it's been a little bit too long since i've been out of this house <laughs> and it's very quiet. Yes. And 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 it seems the, the walls are white. Uh they are tan. And <laughs> except for the the olive green and the uh Italian uh what do they call it? It's not blood red. It's like a dark sangria. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you for the assist. Well, we hope you know uh, we haven't uh, we haven't done Baltimore in a long time, and I don't think uh, I don't know if we'd do it again or do it this year. We'd kind of have to see if they would uh, have us as guests or not. But uh, maybe one year we'll be back in good old Baltimore. But it's been I think 2015 was that the last time we did Baltimore? Probably that sounds about right. Seven years. Oof! They run a good show though. I get uh, can't can't knock them. They do. Yeah, I mean, between that and Heroes, I, I don't know what more you'd want. For sure. In terms of, uh, you know, big weekend comic art, comic guest shows. It's good stuff. All righty. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's say goodbye to our features, uh, our, our favorite uh, segment host, Adam. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Any, any, I'm going to ask Adam, any last thoughts? Um, no, th this is great. <laughs> okay. Is. Well, we'll, we'll see you next time, Adam. Yep. <laughs> All right. Bye, bud. Bye. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Fred. And, uh, Say goodbye or say say goodbye to the audience. Say say hello to Jose for all of us. And and uh, we've been talking about uh, uh, Jose Garcia Lopez, who uh, we adore and is kind of uh, the hero of uh, of artists everywhere, especially in this household. There's a there's a lot of Jose in this house. Is Adam a fan of Jose? <laughs> you know. Should we have him review Jose Luis Garcia Lopez's career, I or just think, Garcia Lopez? I think if 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 anything, Adam's probably a bit tired of of a life of of being forced to wear clothing and T-shirts with Jose and and Kirby art, you know, because uh, that's kind of what it was as a kid, you know. It'd be like just just wear the shirt. Yeah, I would and imagine it, underoos have gotten a bit tight. <laughs> Well, and so yeah, at a certain point they uh, these these kids uh, develop their own opinions, as we saw on display this evening with his fantastic detailed reviews. 
Well, and yeah, you know, very, very I mean, in depth. Yeah, you you try to make it work for you. All right, Fred. We will uh, we will Good see you soon, man. Guys. Good to Take see care. you. Take care. See you, Fred. Right, Thank you. All right. There's and then it was just three. All right, Mr. Andy Bennett. All right. We will uh, see you in two weeks for uh, Gem City Comic Con. Gem City Comic Con. We'll see you there. Dayton see you, Andy. Take care, buddy. Good night, everybody. Well, Joe, that was it. I would call that a success. Well, you know, the first uh, episode. We were hoping for a, for a tight thirty minutes, and uh, we're at fifty eight minutes forty nine seconds. So, uh, kept the audience riveted. It's an hour long show. We're down to we we've got five uh, five people accordingly uh, have stayed with us. Ouch. I like it. <laughs> Join us again next week. <laughs> or whenever. Or whenever. Yeah. yeah we'll figure it out. Don't know when we're doing <laughs> this again, but uh, but it was riveting. I thought so. I yeah. thought we were great. I personally would do this again in a heartbeat and just not live broadcast any of it. <laughs> well, uh, follow us. I think this might go up on YouTube because uh, apparently uh, I hate myself. So we'll keep it up and uh, and see what uh, see what if people clamor for more. Yeah, we'll let the audience decide. I mean, that's your, that's an hour right there. All right, my friend, let's close it out. Let's see. I, I got to get better at uh, at getting the music. Oh. There it is. We've hit the hour mark. All right. Sayonara. See you later, Joe. Thanks, buddy. Thanks Happy birthday. For watching. Oh, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. See you again. Dave and Joe are bored. Next time.